Konnichiwa everyone! The second ever video we uploaded on our channel was about Mori Tower in Roppongi Hills. In Mori Tower, you have Tokyo City View, which for me gives the best 360 degree views of Tokyo City. Until in late 2019, it was rivaled by the star of today's video. The last time we were up there, it was early 2020, so it's been a while. Plus, the weather is surprisingly good today, so I'm really excited to bring you guys up there. My name is Hannah, and this is What You Hannah Do. Shibuya Sky. Woo! What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Shibuya Sky is actually a part of the Shibuya Scramble Square building, which is around 230 meters high with 47 floors above ground. The Shibuya Scramble Square opened in November 1, 2019, and let me just say, this building is gorgeous. A lot of the floors are composed of offices. But from basement 2 to the 14th floor, you have a wide variety of high-end shops to lifestyle goods and restaurants. Shibuya Sky is composed of three parts. And to enter, you have to get to the 14th floor and there they have what they call Sky Gate. Which is quite cool because it's their ticketing gate. So Shibuya Sky Gate. Sky Gate. You can get tickets here at Sky Gate, but if you get them online, it's 200 yen off Plus, you don't need to wait in line. So let me show you how to buy tickets online. This is the Shibuya Sky online website and they have an English option so there is no need to Google Translate the page. The tickets are 1,800 yen per person if you get them online. Plus, it guarantees you a slot during the time you want if, of course, there are available slots. If you buy them directly at Skygate, there is no guarantee that you can go up at the time you buy the tickets. If you scroll down, it will show you the different modes of payment, and if you scroll further down, you will see the Purchase a Ticket button. It is also on the right side of the page. Once you click it, it will take you to their ticketing website. There are a few different ticket options to choose from. Your normal online tickets, the roof Shibuya Sky, which is for now a closed off area with sofas you can chill on, invitation tickets, and tickets for 9 people or more. Choose which option you'd like. Please note that cancellations are non-refundable after purchase, so please do check the weather before coming. You wouldn't want to go up there when it's raining. <laughs> if you scroll down, you will see a calendar. Choose the date you want to enter, and then specify the time you want to enter. If you choose 10 to 10.20, that means you can enter Shibuya Sky within that time. But it doesn't mean you can only stay for 20 minutes. There is no time limit of how long you can stay in Shibuya Sky. After choosing the time, click on how many tickets you'd need, and then proceed to checkout. I know it may seem troublesome to create an account to buy an online ticket, but trust me, it will only take a few minutes. After you've created your account, log in, choose your payment method, it will then confirm all the details, and once you scroll down, click place an order with this information. If you click on my page, it will take you to your page and then you will see the view ticket option and it will show you your QR code that you will be using to enter Shibuya Sky. But you can also go to your email that they sent you and download the QR codes directly onto your phone. Now back to Skygate. I got my QR code ready and got in. After that, we lined up to ride on the transition pods to take us to the 45th and 46th levels. We waited for everyone to get in and then got ready for the experience. This was an extremely fast elevator and the graphics made it feel like they were taking us into space. The lighting in here was pretty unique, and they made this escalator part dark so that when you'd get up to the 46th floor with the views, you were blinded by the beauty of it. Nice experience buildup in my opinion. Right now, we're at what they call the Sky Gallery. So the 14th floor was Sky Gate. We went up through the transition pods, and now we are going to go through the Sky Gallery. Wow. 
Wow. We love view decks. Absolutely love view decks. Mori Tower is my favorite view deck ever, but the simplicity and design of Shibuya Sky definitely challenges the number one spot in my heart. This is only the 46th floor, but you can already enjoy the beautiful views. It's already a 360 degree view of Tokyo. So if you're not feeling up to go to the rooftop yet, this is already pretty spectacular. Just to kind of give you a sense of how high up we are right now, here you go. Oops, the reflection of my shoes. <laughs> So these are what they call parallel windows, a part of Sky Gallery, and their tagline is Glimpse, Another Time, Another World, Another You. It says here, we stand on the mark. Ooh. Ooh. And it kind of shows different times of the day and of the year but you're standing in the same place. Because the view that I'm seeing on the screen right now is exactly the same view that I would see outside. Time, world, you. Ooh, <laughs> you can see me on the screen. On our second video, I was talking about Mori Tower. So Mori Tower is just right there. They're also showcasing different types of work here. So if I'm right, this is Datescape. So it's like data? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. If you keep going, you'll stumble upon some really comfortable seats and this rat, which is an installation in Shibuya Sky right now. Please do not bully the rat. <laughs> Can I love the rat? <laughs> hey, what's up? What you looking at? Ooh, so here we have a map of Shibuya and Shibuya Crossing, which is pretty cool. Also in Sky Gallery, they have a cafe and bar. It's kind of like a diner style, but upscale type of diner, <laughs> I guess. And you can have drinks and food while enjoying the great view. Shibuya is constantly changing and construction is everywhere. Also on the 46th floor or on Sky Gallery, they have their souvenir shop where you can buy various Shibuya merch and also merch from Shibuya Scramble Square as well. So let's check out what they have. This is so cute. These have like little seeds inside and you can grow like a small bonsai, I'm guessing. They also have the manekineko and the daruma dolls. Even the souvenir shop has a view. <laughs> the souvenirs for sale at the souvenir shop, in my opinion, have a very modern Japanese style to them, which is very on brand for Shibuya Sky. Lots of traditional art styles mixed into modern packaging and items. So now that we've made our way around Sky Gallery, it's time to go up to the rooftop. So before we go up to the rooftop, we have to leave our bags and stuff in these lockers. So we're just gonna take my bag. And you're gonna need a hundred yen coin to lock the locker. And you're gonna keep this. This is the entrance to Sky Stage, which is at the rooftop. Let's go. It's starting to get windy. 
Currently almost 6 o'clock and sunset will be at 7 o'clock but since it's a little bit cloudy today we might not be able to see the sun. It's starting to get a little darker right now and Mount Fuji has come out to greet us. I'm guessing this is the line to get your picture taken. It's just a thin glass. So it looks like you are basically in the sky, which makes sense because it's called Shibuya Sky. It's beautiful up here. Well, I can say that the rooftop view is a lot better than the one in Mori Tower in Roppongi Hills because it's more of an unobstructed view through the city. Whoa. It's a little crowded right now. <laughs> I guess everybody's waiting to see the night view here in Tokyo. On Sky Stage, they also have this area called Cloud Hammock, where you can pretty much just lie down and chill. I gave it a try, and honestly, it's not the most comfortable hammock. Plus, it looked a little dirty. But as I was lying there, this was my view. So, I still pretty much enjoyed it. So like I said earlier, it's a bit cloudy today, so we can't really see the sunset. We can see a bit of Mount Fuji still, but not as clear as I would like. So right now, we're just gonna wait for the night view, and then we're gonna check out the sky bar. It's a temporary bar thing, so usually we can go around this area easily, but right now they have sofas and cocktails that they're selling, so we're gonna drink a cocktail, so maybe that'll get us to the other side of the rooftop. So let's try. Unfortunately, the sky bar or the roof Shibuya Sky was fully booked, and even the standing area was at maximum capacity, so we just decided to stick around a little bit more up here at Sky Stage to wait for the city to light up and also see the whole rooftop at night. I can't decide which I like more, the city view during the day or the night view. Both times of the day are just so stunning, it's so hard to choose. What about you guys? City during the day or night view? Let me know in the comments down below. The last two spots on Sky Stage are the Geo Compass which points you to different parts of the globe, and the crossing light, where sometimes they put on a special light show. It was getting super windy out here, so we decided to go back down and see the night view within the comfort and protection of glass windows. <laughs> sky Stage and Sky Gallery are only one floor apart, so it doesn't really change the view so much. The rooftop, of course, gives a more outdoor feel, plus view of the sky, but we didn't mind seeing the view from just one floor below. couldn't get a seat upstairs but the cafe and bar down here is just as good we can enjoy the night view and i got myself a melon slushy it's overflowing <laughs> so i better drink it before it continues to overflow super good i was feeling hot earlier so it's really refreshing mm. After enjoying that delicious melon slushy float, we just spent a little more time soaking up the night views and attractions of Shibuya Sky. I highly recommend this observation deck if you're coming to Tokyo. It will really make you feel and absorb the city a lot more. So that's it! That was Shibuya Sky. 
I can't really say that it beats Mori Power. I love both equally. Both have their pros. One is better than the other in some way. So Shibuya Sky has an unobstructed all glass closure rooftop, but Mori Tower has two restaurants and a museum. Also, Mori Tower is a lot closer to Tokyo Tower and to Tokyo Sky Tree. But then Shibuya Sky has so many more places you can rest and relax. So it's kind of like just weigh which one you'd like more. But I personally love both. I can't choose between them. I have fun in both view decks. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet and see you in the next video. Woo!